Our story began with an unborn child and a pregnancy that brought joy, of course, but also worry. Worry caused by not knowing what was happening to that baby because pregnancy monitoring is stuck in the past, giving too few moments of insight and reliant on intermittent visits to the doctor. That experience inspired a vision, a vision of using technology to revolutionize maternal fetal care, to enable pregnant moms and partners to monitor their baby anytime, anywhere, to offer a window into the womb with accurate data, to connect every mom and baby to the care they need when they need it. And now we're bringing together a community of doctors, technologists, entrepreneurs, and parents to do much more, sharing knowledge, tech, and data to turn maternity into a movement and ensure that every life has a better beginning. So I have to say that we developed that video about two years ago, and something monumental happened last Friday, March 27th. Nuvo received FDA clearance to go to market with our remote pregnancy monitoring platform. Could not have come at a better time in this uh, stage of social distancing. How have things changed for you and for Nuvo and parental care in this environment of social distancing? So it has been a fascinating acceleration to a new world of telehealth and remote monitoring solutions. So I would say to you, Yael, two months ago, we were out there telling our story about the need for more distributed care and starting to move care delivery outside of the clinic or the hospital into the home or other access points like your employer, the community, et cetera. And millennial moms have largely been catalyzing this trend as they expect digital solutions to be empowered in navigating their best journey. So we're out there with that story. We had investors and providers who were early adopters, tip of the spear, that were helping us anchor our entree into market. And we were going at a very measured pace and then about a month ago, as Corona started to peak, we have been hit by unprecedented demand and surge in requests for our platform because almost overnight, what was once seen as a convenience or a nice to have four weeks to go is now an indispensable and how can I get it fast enough? So we at Nuvo are trying to deliver our base plan but in parallel, be prepared to respond to a surge in demand that's really need-based. It's actually interesting watching that video again and talking about creating a maternity movement. What's happening for pregnant women today is they're even more isolated. So they're being told to stay home and not go into the doctor's office. They're having to rely on tools at home, like a blood pressure cuff, et cetera, when they deliver, in many instances, sadly, they have to deliver alone because no one's allowed into the labor room. So our platform is, was always needed, but now is needed more than ever for safer pregnancies and more connected care in a moment of social isolation. Have things changed in the ecosystem since the start of COVID-19? And how has Nuvo been adapted in, in adapting in light of everything that's been going on? No, it's a great question. So I talked about the tailwind in surge of demand. The other tailwinds that are really propelling our business forward are relaxation and what were barriers to adoption before. So before we were battling could a virtual visit be reimbursed like an office visit? The answer now is yes, we've lifted those restrictions. Can a doctor practice across state lines before they could only practice and write scripts within his or her state? 
we've lifted that restriction. There were restrictions around HIPAA compliance. And I will note that Nuvo is HIPAA and GDPR compliant, but still HIPAA compliance if I want to have a FaceTime visit is an example. So the other big barrier to adoption was doctors' willingness to change their habits. And right now I'll tell you that doctors can't change fast enough. There's a clinic we're working with that stood up a telehealth platform in seven days. And every doctor couldn't learn fast enough to save their patients. Also doctors want to not only do their jobs, but also stay relevant in this moment too, where there's a lot of furloughing, unfortunately, of healthcare of not essential workers. So serve your patients in the most relevant time critical way. Tailwinds that um, are energizing, somewhat dizzying, dizzying, and we're preparing ourselves for how do we best respond.